All right, so I got a new mold today. I actually got eight of these bad boys. This is made by Epic Bait Molds. But what's cool about it is, I don't know if you guys follow YouTuber uh, Marlon Bates. He makes a lot of custom lures and stuff, uh, usually out of wood and balsa wood and all kinds of different stuff. But he has gotten into the soft plastic things, and uh, Epic picked up his option to make a mold. So if you look at the other side of this mold, it's got the Marlon Bates logo from his YouTube channel and his brand. So we're going to open this mold up and show it to you guys. Let's go ahead and take off the nuts here, the wing nuts. I bought eight of these. Uh, we're just going to shoot one just to show you what they look like real quick. All right, so take the wing nuts off there. We're going to flip her open and show you guys what the bait design's like. This is called the Epic Bait Mold Salamander. What's cool about it is it's got a ball tail which floats up, so real good on like probably a Carolina rig is what I'm assuming. Um, you can shoot separate colored legs. Um, so if you look at the mold, you can shoot here for the legs, shoot here for the ball, and then you take those out and put them in point A and point B there and then reshoot the mold in the body. So if you get the circulation going right, you could be shooting the, the legs and the tail while this is curing from your previous shot once you put the balls and the legs in. So we're going to go ahead and shoot this up and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so Amanda's going to mix up these colors. We're going to shoot. She wants to do like a chartreuse with a real fine black glitter for the ball and the, and the legs. And then for the body, she wants to do like a transparent June bug or purple with um, hologram and blue flake. So large, large uh, blue flake and then micro hologram. So the body's going to be that. And then the tails and the legs are going to be the uh, transparent chartreuse with black glitter. So we're going to go ahead and heat these up and get them mixed up and go from there. So Amanda's going to add some chartreuse to taste, like you would in cooking, until you like it. This is going to be for the ball and the legs. Hey! Sorry about the little ones in the background, they're playing in the shop while we play with the new mold. Okay, so she's got it to the color that she likes and she's just going to put a couple pinches. Uh, that stuff is very potent, just so you know. Okay, good to know. Like a... Uh, <laughs> I mean like a dash does a lot. Yeah, that'll do a lot. Okay, so she's putting a little bit of pearl highlight in the chartreuse. And then she's going to put a couple pinches of black glitter. She mixed up three quarters of a cup of plastic. She put 22 drops of Lure Works chartreuse in there. She's giving it a good stir. She's going to grab some glitter. It's going to have a lot of glitter in it. Yeah. I usually use a quarter teaspoon per cup, but this is her this is her rodeo. It'll be, it'll be, baby, if it's meant to be. We do not own the rights to that music. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we will go ahead and throw this back in the microwave and get it back up to temp. And then we're going to go ahead and shoot the legs and the, uh, the little ball on the tail. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and start nuking the other plastic while she shoots this side. Give it a gentle stir so you don't mix up a bunch of air bubbles. Uh, we're using Calhoun's Medium Blend for this. One good thing about Calhoun's compared to some of the other brands is the glitter suspends way better. Um, it doesn't sink to the bottom so fast, so if you guys haven't tried Calhoun's, you might want to give it a try. And no, I'm not sponsored by Calhoun's. I've shot all the different plastics. She's going to suck up the chartreuse here. And then she's going to shoot it in the legs. Remember, that's the legs. And then that's the ball. 
probably doesn't take much. Probably doesn't even feel like it moves. All right, so we'll wait for that to cure and then we'll get the other color mixed up here. That's gonna be a pretty translucent purple, I think is the plan with the silver hologram and blue flakes. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and demold the tails or the tail ball and the legs and go ahead and get them set in the mold the right way for the shot of the translucent purple. So, little tail ball. And then what's the legs look like? Is that about what you were envisioning? Yeah. All right, we'll get those laid in the mold the correct way, and we'll go ahead and get this purple mixed up. but we ended up making some really cool baits. And that's why I ordered eight of them, so that way you're not doing this one at a time and take forever to make a pack of baits. I can already notice one thing about this mold just by watching Amanda. I haven't shot it yet, but it looks like the legs run into the body, so it should have a real good adhering does the ball do the same thing or no? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So it looks like the legs have little joints on them that go up into the body so that it adhere. And then as long as you don't have a bunch of wheels on your hand, that ball should adhere real well with that surface area too. So go ahead and get it crunched down. And if we were smart, we would go ahead and shoot another round of chartreuse um, if we were trying to make these in bulk, um, if we had like the shooting star going we could go ahead and shoot the two balls of chartreuse after we shot the body and then you're ready for the next batch and you just keep that rotation going. Amanda's gonna get that stuff out now. We're gonna go and mix up the purple. She's gonna use the Florida grape from Lure Works instead of the June bug and then this blue glitter and then some micro silver hologram. So. there because you're not clear. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wait until it gets clear and then, then you'll be able to mix it up real good. It's been a couple months since Amanda's made baits. <laughs> bagging. <laughs> Much better? It's pretty dark already. Two drops of Florida grape. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. In a cup and a half of Calhoun's medium blend. About an eighth of a teaspoon there of micro hologram. And then the larger blue, I think that's 0 0.040. About an eighth of a teaspoon as well. Like Christmas. <laughs> 
It is like Christmas around here. I've gotten a braid and new molds and extra props and stuff and new scales over there. Haven't even unboxed. Uh, been getting a lot of stuff and wrapping a lot of presents. As you guys know, I'm building a house, so my entire house is in the shop right now. So that's why it's such a mess. is going to go ahead and shoot the chartreuse ball and tail again once she gets that to temp as well. Just kind of trying to keep it warm. Alright, looks like the purple's ready. She's going to drop the uh, chartreuse down in there for 30 more seconds so she can shoot the balls again so we can make two of these. Since we'll have enough plastic to at least make two. So she just got done shooting that purple, translucent purple color. It's going to turn out pretty cool if you can just kind of tell it off the top of the, the mold there. I uh, didn't put this in a vacuum chamber or anything or in the in my, uh, you know, my pots that stir, keep the air bubbles out. So this bait might come with some air bubbles depending on... happen there. She's going to clear the injector real quick. What's crazy is you could get like, what, six different colors going in this bait? You could have a, a laminated ball, a laminated leg, and then a laminated body. So you could potentially have six different colors in one bait. <laughs> it's kind of weird shooting something that it doesn't take much plastic, huh? Yeah. Need like a little one ounce injector <laughs> instead of a big old nine ounce or whatever that one is. All right. If you guys haven't checked out Marlon Bates' YouTube channel, make sure you check him out. This is his design mold um, by Epic Bates Mold Company. Super fast shipping, too. I think I ordered these. A day or two before Thanksgiving, and it's uh, Friday, December 3rd or 4th, whatever today's date is. Maybe. Alright, so we already shot the ball and the legs for the next round, so we'll get those off to the side. Tail, just the legs. Got little cobwebs there on the legs. If you want to pull that off, but other than that, that's the bait. And like I said, it adheres up into the body, so these legs aren't going to pull off real easy. And then that ball is going to float up because it's just a big ball of plastic. So I can just imagine how this thing's going to swim. It's got a real nice. Uh, kind of a funnel that goes around the ball too so that should stay stuck real well pretty impressed got good meat to the body got some good ribs in the side so you can be able to bury that hook and expose it and not get hung up definitely going to try this on a carolina rig go ahead and get the balls and the legs in there to shoot one more go ahead and do one more and we might add a couple more drops of purple or purple highlight or something just to give a little bit different color schematic here with the chartreuse legs but that is uh that's going to be a sweet bait. This is called the Epic Salamander. Or one crazy looking lizard. Okay, so when we were shooting that, the legs didn't turn out. Um, didn't put enough pressure on it or something, who knows, or we didn't have the plastic hot enough. But uh, So we're just going to shoot a different colored body with maybe a little bit darker, but it's going to have that chartreuse ball. So just another option you can do with this mold. I can't wait to throw this thing. <laughs> that color or that bait? This bait. If I was on Table Rock, I'd probably throw this right now. Well, we're going to be down, man. True. 
All right, so we're just gonna add some purple highlight to this purple body. Stir it up and give it a shot here and see what it looks like with just a chartreuse ball and a little bit darker body here. Adding just a couple more drops of Florida grape there just to darken it up just a little bit. That plus the purple highlight should make this color look a lot different even though it's not much of a change. It doesn't seem like much, just a couple drops of darker colors and then just a small pinch of that purple highlight does a lot of, a lot of good. Alright, so just got done nuking the uh, chartreuse. It's gonna go ahead and shoot the uh, legs and the ball for the next round there. Doesn't take much plastic at all to do these little balls and these legs. I'm going to go ahead and see what this darker color looks like here. She's demolding it. Hey, kiddos. Can you stop? Alrighty, so don't put that on the oily tray. Just set it up somewhere not oily there. Go ahead and shot the legs there for the next round. And then this is just a little bit darker salamander with a chartreuse ball, but purple legs. It's pretty sweet mold, if I must say. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot one more round and show you the outcome of that one. Alright, it's time to unravel the last one. So we did the real translucent purple. This has got a little bit of purple highlight in it and now we're going to do uh, chartreuse legs with the same body as that one here for the third one go ahead and pop that top off if you want all righty so there's the three baits side by side by side like i said you could get the potential of going like six different colors in this if you really 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 wanted to I mean you could actually do more if you start cutting in and cutting out uh, pieces but it's designed to literally do three different pieces normally so if you do laminate 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 you could if you had triple laminate blocks you could do nine colors and and be like easily done it's not something that you have to do a lot of open pouring and and messing with the the mold so if you guys want to check out this mold it's epic bait molds um, designed by marlin baits so make sure you guys check out marlin baits on youtube also check out epic bait molds if you guys are interested in this mold i will uh, show some swim test here in the future with this mold put it on a carolina rig and maybe even find a pool to, to test it in so until next time please like and subscribe and thanks for tuning in don't forget to hit that notification bell